when it comes to food i am always on the hunt for a new inspirations and new ideas i think the ideal way to learn more about food is by exploring new cuisines and cultures so today i am sharing this easy chicken kabsa recipe this is basically a classic recipe from saudi arabia chicken and rice are cooked in a beautiful spice mix making this one of the best one pot rice recipes ready to entertain your eat table to be exact this kabsa recipe is by far one of my all time favorite rice dishes i have already shared the chicken pieces kabsa rice but this is a whole chicken kabsa rice i hope you will enjoy the recipe now subscribe to nazima's taste of home press the bell icon for latest updates all right now let's start the cooking process heat a large pan add about 3 to 4 tablespoons of olive oil and 1 tablespoon of ghee when the ghee or oil heats up add one cinnamon stick 3 to 4 cardamoms and few cloves and 2 to 3 bay leaves at this point add one large onion finely chopped i am adding half a cup of fried onions and give a good stir and then add two tablespoons of ginger and garlic paste and saute for about 2 minutes add salt as needed and then add the whole chicken now fry the chicken turning occasionally for about 30 minutes make sure to fry all sides equally now let's check out the spices we need 1 and 1/2 teaspoons of pepper powder 2 tablespoons coriander powder 1 tablespoon arabic masala powder to make kabsa spice powder combine together cardamom white pepper saffron cinnamon and powder it or you can buy the pre-made kabsa spice mix in arabic stores i'm going to use canned crushed tomatoes but you can use the blender to crush the tomatoes use two large tomatoes and two dry lemon now this has been frying for about 25 minutes now now at this point let's add the spices and one cup of crushed tomatoes and two dry lemons and salt as needed and give a good mix and then add enough water to cover the chicken now let it cook for about 15 minutes in medium heat after about 10 minutes i'm going to flip it to the other side now this has cooked well and now let's remove it to a plate now i have taken 3 cups of basmati rice i have rinsed it few times 1 cup of shredded carrots I'm going to use the rice cooker to cook this kabsa rice. Now add the rice to the rice cooker and then add the carrots. Cut the carrots into strips just like this and give a good mix. And now let's pour the chicken soup. Add enough gravy and water to cook the rice. And I'm going to leave it in the rice cooker in the cooking mode now. And now let's make the marination for the chicken. Add two tablespoons of olive oil, one teaspoon pepper powder, one teaspoon red chili powder, and one whole lemon juice. And then give a good mix. Add a teaspoon of salt, and then mix it really well and brush it over the chicken. Now make sure to coat all sides very well, and then. Preheat the oven on 350 Fahrenheit and grill the chicken for 10 to 15 minutes or until golden color. As for the side dish, I'm going to make a very simple chutney for this. I have taken one large onion and few cherry tomatoes, green chilies, coriander leaves, salt and lime juice. I'm going to put all this in a 
mixi jar and blend it for about 10 seconds to make a simple chutney. Meanwhile, add a tablespoon of ghee and fry the almonds till light golden color and then remove it to a plate and then add a handful of golden raisins and fry it till it plumps up and then remove it to a plate and keep aside. Meanwhile, let's transfer the chutney into a serving plate. In a big platter, let's serve the rice now. Rice has cooked very well and fluffy. The garnishing ingredients are ready now. I have taken some chopped coriander leaves too. Now this hot and flavorful kabsa rice is ready for serving. The making of chicken kabsa is so simple and easy and can be prepared with a handful of ingredients. I personally focus on rice cooking as it should be perfectly cooked. I have placed the chicken on the top of the rice and then garnish it with some fried almonds and raisins and some chopped cilantro or you can top it with some fried onions too. Arabian rice is so famous all around the world and I have already shared Arabic mandi rice and chicken majboos. All are the best rice recipes but the taste of chicken kabza has unique flavor and aroma that compel to eat again and again and i have made this many many times hope you enjoyed this recipe see you soon with another interesting recipe thanks for watching see you later